Hello and welcome to a subcategory of my 80s art channel where we'll be talking about movies and television. These will be a range of brief clips where we'll be chatting to you about my favourite films of all time. There won't be reviews as such, they'll be more like recommendations of movies and TV shows that have affected me in a good way that I feel are brilliant, outstanding and magnificent. I'll only pick the best ones. I've got a lot of films here. I'm going to choose um, a selection that I feel that are so important to me and so amazing that I'm going to have to say these are movies you must see before you die. So where do we start? Well, it's the 24th of December 2015. It's Christmas Eve. So I thought, being seasonal, I'll start it with a Christmas film. Now, Christmas, I used to love it, but I've grown away from it. I've distanced myself over the past number of years because I've just found it too commercial now and too much of a money-grabbing business. Uh, don't get me wrong, if you've got family, children, is different. But for me, no, I've um, got very disillusioned with it. I don't really have much to do with it nowadays but years ago I did and this film we're talking about now we're talking about a 1971 film now 71 was a good year that was a good Christmas and I'm talking about A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens yeah there's loads of Christmas carols there's the new one Disney Jim Carrey blah 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 yeah I've got that too and that's pretty good um, I like my animation and this is an animation but it's an old school animation and it's done pretty much true to the book which I like you'll want all day tomorrow I suppose hmm? if quite convenient sir it's not convenient and it's not fair if I was to stop you half a crown for it you'd think yourself ill-used I'll be bound hmm? <laughs> and yet you, you don't think me ill-used when I pay a day's wages for no work. It's only once a year, sir. Well, that's a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. You'll be here all the earlier the next morning. Even the blind man's dog knew old Scrooge and avoided him. Scrooge kept all humanity at a distance and liked it that way. Now, the bad thing about this film is you can't buy it. You can't obtain a copy. This is my own personal copy that I transferred from Betamax many, many years ago. And it was shown on TV, kind of religiously, for many years in the UK. It was more like, almost like The Wizard of Oz. It was Wizard of Oz, Christmas Carol, BBC Two, whatever. So I'm fortunate to get myself a copy of this from, from videotape, but as we all know, YouTube comes to the rescue and this film is available to watch in its entirety on YouTube. And I think there's a recent high definition version of it as well. It's only going to take up 25 minutes, give or take or so, of your life if you want to watch it. It's a short rendition of a wonderful book. And it's one of the only versions of this story that's won an Academy Award. And the plus point here is it's voiced by some pretty you know, high-ranking actors. We've got Michael Redgrave, we've got Michael Horden, we've got Diana Quick, Joan Sims. But the main character, as in Ebenezer Scrooge, is voiced none other than by Alistair Sim himself. And he basically duplicates his live action performance in this. It's got a great gothic feel and it's got an amazing range of camera angles. I've never seen animation that's affected me, I've noticed it so much, than the camera angles in, the, in this film. It's just the 
the scenes are so wonderfully done. The, the spirits, the ghosts, they're truly quite disturbing, even though it's a cartoon. What do you want with me? March. You don't believe in me. <laughs> I don't. Because you, 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 you may be an undigested bit of beef, a fragment of an underdone potato. <laughs> There's more of gravy than of grave about you. And it was originally distributed in America on ABC and then put out theatrically. But whether it's to do with copyright or whether it's to do with the ownership, I don't know, but you can't buy it. You can buy the video, I think it's quite expensive, on Amazon, but you, not on DVD, it should be. It highly, highly deserves um, to be released. Um, but like I say, you can watch it on, on YouTube. And if I just swing this round here, carefully, I've got, just at random, I picked one version of it on YouTube and I don't know if the actual high def one. I don't think it is, but it's a full film. A Merry Christmas, Uncle. God save you. Humbug. Uh, beautifully done. Um, I've watched it so many times that I've lost count. It's just a fantastic cartoon. A cartoon is an understatement, it's, it's an art, it's a masterpiece. And it personifies, for me, what Christmas used to be like many years ago. This film, to me, is such an outstanding Christmassy film to watch that I have no hesitation in saying, this is a movie, a Christmas movie, you must see before you die.